All right, so let's start with the control panel. We've got power, we've got lighting, and a potentiometer, 1K pot, to uh, increase or decrease the lighting. It's kind of nice to have some light down on your print surface. Then we have fans up here. We've got a hot end cooling fan. That guy right there. Uh, sometimes you might want to turn it up or down. And then this one is for the um, your print surface cooling fan. This is actually a three-way switch so if I go up it's actually just always on and then of course I can adjust the speed here and then if uh, it's in the middle it's off and then if it's down it's in auto and that means it's going to be controlled by the ramps board this is the cooling fan here for the electronics See, I can crank it up if I really want extra cooling. It's pushing a lot of air. So, you know, I have to live with this thing. So, um, it's nice to be able to turn it down to a, a rate that is giving me good cooling. And yet it still uh, is quiet. I didn't really mean to make this box multicolor, but I was... Uh, I would print a part and kind of stop for a while and print another part. I like this transparent colors because then you can see the lighting inside. So the pieces are kind of like puzzle pieces. They kind of snap together and then the lid I used a little rubber cement to kind of hold those in a little better. There you can see what it looks like with the connector. A little bit of hot glue. So there's a spot right here for accessory power. They were just, um, there were some holes there and I soldered on some headers. This pin is actually for automatic power supply turn on. You can see it says PS on. I put a pin there, but I'm not using it right now. This is actually the wire that goes down to the power supply to turn it on. And uh, I put a connector here so that if I need to, I can unplug that. And then I can unplug that to pull the power supply off. It's just a tad cramped in here. So here's the hot end wires. And then this right here is the fan, the bed cooling fan. Uh, output I'm going out to my board so let me show you kind of what I did here I've got this uh, connector that I rated out of a television at one time I'm bringing power in here on orange I'm powering this LED so when you turn on the power it's gonna power the LED it also brings power over here so I'm powering the three switches and then I'm going through the potentiometer 1k pot and then the the wires go out to the connector and out to the different fans this one is the same it goes out to the LED lights though these are single pole double throws um, single pole single throw would work but this is a single pole triple throw this is an RGB LED and I just wanted a different color so I'm I'm lighting red and blue with some 10k resistors and then of course ground in the middle